it is a big deal. Uh, Binance is, you know, the largest spot crypto exchange by uh, by some size, but we've been seeing all year that. Binance has been losing share as uh, investors have been anticipating uh, some type of enforcement actions. We see this every cycle. Old main characters in crypto retire or get arrested. New main characters uh, emerge. Um, you know, you can see Coinbase kind of acting well on this news. Uh, probably bullish for for Coin. Yeah, I was going to ask. So, who are the winners? As you mentioned, uh, Coinbase right now little changed on the day. Bitcoin actually briefly turned positive. Like, what is the read across to other tokens to other exchanges on this news? I think it's a continuation of the trend we've seen this year, which is Coinbase picking up market share because they are the closest thing to a regulated entity uh, inside the U.S. Given their custody solution, uh, and that's despite the fact that you know the SEC has, soy has sued Coinbase as well for uh, selling unregistered securities. Uh, but I think the most important thing here is that, uh, according to the news reports, at least Binance will uh, continue to be able to operate. Uh, so this should not have any uh, dramatic impact on the market, on anyone's coin holdings. Uh, it'll probably be a gradual market share loss uh, as the story plays out. Hey, Matt, as someone here, I'm just speaking to myself, you know, don't have a lot of experience in the crypto space. But it, when I see leading exchanges run into these legal problems and the executives run into these legal problems. I'm just like, this is the wild west. Why would I even pay attention to this? Can you give us a sense of how much of a concern that is for people in the crypto space that, man, this looks bad? The main use case or one of the main use cases of digital assets is the ability to custody them yourself in cold storage. Uh, when you hand over your keys to an exchange and leave your keys uh, on an exchange, by definition, they are going to hold your coins, uh, settle the trade, clear the trade. Uh, the whole stack is condensed into one. You know, that can be a very efficient way of doing business. It's just doesn't have a ton of regulatory clarity here in the U.S. But when you're uh, bank is failing over a weekend, uh, you're pretty happy to be able to move your you know, dollar stable coins onto an exchange and monetize them, which you can't do uh, during a bank run. So there's some inherent advantages to this tech as well, though you note know the risks. Matt, $4.3 billion is, uh, according to the journal, what they will be paying and CZ will retain his majority ownership in Binance. Either of those, that number in that update, surprising at all? It's a large number, but uh, the SEC claimed in the Kraken lawsuit yesterday that Kraken made $43 billion in 2020 and 2021. So uh, presumably CZ has negotiated this settlement and, and can afford it. Uh, Binance will continue to operate. 